Hello, uh, welcome to my live blood analysis and today I'm gonna show you guys uh, the blood in a state where we it, it is called Larolo and as you can see here this is all the red blood cells I know you guys you're gonna be freaking out right now and saying oh that's that's you know what happened or what's wrong with you, with that blood and you know this is actually a, a normal when you are sick you know you get you have a rollo and you know sometimes you know yes you just have a rollo and that means that really reflects that your blood is not healthy a rollo is like coins when you have red blood cells sticking to each other and it's in the beginning it just you know a rollo you know, you know like this and when they start to stick more you know a lot of coins like coin like if you put a lot of quarters and put them together then if they start to aggregate to another form of rollo that's erythrocytes aggregation which is severe state of rollo and this is this happens there is a lot of explanations of why we do have this sometimes in our blood this happens there are three three um yes three theories i mean three theories for why this happens i mean three explanations they say that the uh, first one is when you have a lot of uh, indigestive proteins in your bloodstream, like you don't have a lot of enzymes that break up, you know, break break your food, and you know, you don't you don't digest. You eat a lot of proteins, like you eat a lot of meat, red meat, and you eat a lot of you know, all the you know, the bad you know. You have a lot of protein, you know, and you, you are just you know, you have excess in your bloodstream. Which you know in the in those cases that's uh, like uh, protein I think it's proteinemia if I still remember in my medical terminology I'm sorry guys when you have that condition you expect to see a rollo in your blood and you have this red blood cells sticking each other this is one of what what the researchers say and the second the secondary explanation is when you have it's a coagulation problem when you do have fibrin or fibrinogen mesh in your plasma, you know, and there is, you know, a lot of mesh in there and that makes your blood stick to each other, you know, the cell membrane of your red blood cell, you know, make it sticky, you know, the, then you have a lot of red blood cells, you know, sticking to each other. The third one is, the third explanation is infection and the infection, this, I think that's the one because now I have flu symptoms, I have uh, fever chills, and my blood was not like this before. It was quite healthy, my red discocytes, red blood cells with uh, discocyte shape and just floating, you know, floating in the blood, in the plasma of the blood, and I, ha I didn't have this problem before. So as you can see here, this is a rollo, and this is one of the red blood cells that is not, that doesn't, you know, is not sticking to the others. But this shows that there is kind of infection going on, and this is not healthy, you know. This is not healthy because this, as you can see here, I think we have, uh, let's see, what is that, you know. We, ha we have infection. There is something right there, you see. There is a uh, microorganisms. I'm sure, you know, I got something from the environment and some, you know, kind of infection, you know. It's making me sick. And Rolo is not, you know, I'm not surprised. This is something that is normal for now as being sick but I'm trying to fix it and there is a lot of a lot of ways you can fix uh, high blood velocity or you can fix you know this rollo is like working out and taking a shower hot shower in the morning like when you sleep when you wake up you know your blood is not mm, circulation is not you know quite you know as when you take a hot shower and you know it just started you know to your blood circulating everywhere especially if you do exfoliate in your skin you know rubbing your skin when you take a shower that's very good for your lymph nodes and it's good for your lymphatic system as well uh, also, you can take some herbs that are natural blood thinners. I will say that because they make you bleed a lot. Like if you take a lot, if you drink a lot of cinnamon or cloves, cloves tea, a lot of cloves tea. If you take a lot of, of those herbs, uh, you know, they're gonna make your blood, you know, circulate, improving your circulation. But you have to be careful if you are someone that is already in blood thinners or something like that you better avoid this and this is a disclaimer 
I am not giving you any medical advice, you know, you have to consult your doctor for sure before you start any anything. This is just, you know, to share my experience. And this is a rollo and this is how what, what it looks like. It's not good to see it, you know, don't freak out when you find it. You know, someday in your blood, it's just, you know, but I'm going to fix it. As I said, I already fixed it many times and I'm just, I just wanted to share you guys, you know, when the blood is not healthy, this is what is happening. You have, uh, you know, like coins sticking to each other and you don't want to, you know, have poor circulation, fatigue and not feeling well when you go and, you know, do your activities, work or whatever. You want to, you know, have a good blood, you know, you want to have circulation, a good circulation, good oxygen, 100%, you know, you want to really have, you know, everything good. So when you have this, you just try, you know, do, you know, all the alternative solutions, you know, to keep your circulation. You also don't want to increase your risk for having a stroke or a blood clot or something like that, you know, you don't want to leave your blood like this, you know, for a long, long time. And um, before I, 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 you know, in this video, because I just want to show you the roll be careful with also when you prepare the slide, this is an example, when you prepare the slide, make sure, you want to make sure there is no, I'm sorry, my battery is running, <laughs> running down. Uh, yeah, you want to make sure when you prepare the slide, you don't put a lot of blood in it, you know, you want to make sure you put a little bit of drop of blood in the slide. So you can see, I mean, if that's not, you know, because uh, red blood says we need space, you know, to float, you know, and basically if you have, if you, if you prepare the slide and you put a lot of amount, the drop, the finger stick, when you make, prepare fingers, a finger stick drop and you prepare the blood smear, you want to make sure you don't put a lot of blood because that will give you wrong and inaccurate blood testing and inaccurate live blood analysis where you will see a rollo and you actually didn't have a rollo so this is one of the, the very important thing that i want to mention to the beginners in doing live blood analysis but in my case i will tell you why i would say this is actual rollo that i have in my blood because i did but this is my seventh drop of blood and i i did like the fifth time i did the second time the the you know i was doing one two three four five six seven every drop was sticky i i can notice just by my naked eye i can notice that was you know sticking you know it's very high velocity it means that my my fingers you know, my fingers also you know it doesn't come quickly you know just you know i, I hardly got the drops out that means you know my and in the other days when i have you know uh, healthy blood there is no roll oh just quickly I just bleed quickly you know and get the drop and it's not sticking even when I put the cover slide on it on the sp or on the, the slide when I put the cover glass it just you know spread everywhere and it doesn't stick you know it doesn't stick when I put the cover glass on it thank you so much for watching and uh, so this is a roll today I share this with you guys and please comment below if you have more explanations why roll happens if you are a lab professional just I would really be you know happy you know to hear your about your you know more you know I, I like to know a lot of stuff and I'm just a self educate educating just doing self educating myself you know at home and i'm very interested in you know hematology please thank you so much for watching and please uh, i want to say please you know comment below if you have any information and share your story too thank you so much and have a healthy day